again with another video and today I'm going to review a cable tester that I bought on eBay. Um, I did say in my previous video I was going to review the POC Ethernet. I'm going to save that for another time because, because it has quite a few features to it and this one ha only has a few features and is a lot cheaper and I'm not that optimistic about it. I have used it today a little bit. Um, all it comes with um, just comes like this in its bubble wrap, doesn't have anything else on it. Uh, no other fancy packaging. And inside you have a manual, which is, well, the wording is, is clearly just a translation from Chinese or Indian or something. Um, and it sort of makes sense, but it, it goes into detail. The, the pictures are the really the most interesting thing. I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah, you probably just about make that out. Yeah. So, so I've got um, this, which is the SC8108. Now on eBay, it's it's listed as unbranded. Um, it's it's actually in the description. It says that it is a cable tester, but also it can do things like. TDR and basic line testing and, and that sort of thing looking for faults and it can tell you the length of a cable I'm not particularly optimistic with it. Um, I mean it was less than 20 pounds and It comes with this little wire map um, Thing on one end So like a remote device and then you have that the main unit here um, I've used it a little bit already to test some cables. I've got a couple of cables here. I've got a straight through cable and I've got a crossover cable. So I'm gonna plug this into the main port. There are two ports on here, main and loopback. Just gonna plug one end into the main port. I'm gonna turn the up, put the other end into this little remote piece here. And then I'm going to turn it on. So I'm gonna push the on button. And there we go. So straight away, that beeping tells me that it detects this little remote device. And if I go and if I press OK, I'm going to select YMAP. So there are four different options here. I'm just going to push the middle button. And it's going to do a test. And straight away, it comes back with uh, YMAP pass. And it has, as you can see there, let's just turn it off a second. So when I, as soon as I remove the remote device, it, it stops beeping. but it's still on the screen, so let's have a look. Um, so you can see there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lines all the way down, it says it's a pass. So that's good. And I know this is a good cable, so I'm gonna try a crossover cable. It's the first time I've tried a crossover cable. Now I should get a different, I should get a different set of results. Let's have a look and see. I'll plug this on this end. Okay, so it detects a cable, and I'm going to push the OK button again. I'm going to push OK to do the wire map test. Now oh, that's interesting. So it's saying wire map fail, but if I look at the pins, I've got on one end one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On the M, which is I think the main unit, this this master unit. I mean, it says main here, so I suspect this is this unit. And on the other end, the R, which I think would have been the end this unit's on. So according to this, the R unit, the pins are slightly different. Let's have a look. And I can see there, I don't know if you can see that, but the cables are in a slightly different order. So it should be orange here at the beginning um, and then green and then blue in the middle and then back to green and then finishing on brown. But it's going in a different order as you can see there. So it's not quite, it's not quite what it should be. So it's definitely a crossover cable. And yeah, and I think these are right. Even though it says fail, I think this is just really set up to, to work with straight through cables. So although it's said a fail, it's, it's not detecting it as a crossover cable. However, it does identify the pins 
and I can see from here that the pins are different on here. Um, I would really only use this to test straight through cables. I wouldn't use this to test a crossover cable. Uh, although I guess you could, because as long as you know which pins are in, in which area, which where the pins should be, you know, you could test that. Um, so it's got a few other settings here as well. Uh, if I push the main menu button, so I've got four different options there. I have wire map test, and I've got pair and length. Now I have used this with a 20 meter cable and it said it was about 21 meters. Some, some of the wires it said 20 and some it said 21. So it's more or less 2021. However, I don't know how reliable this would be. I wouldn't want to take this into a production environment. It's not that good. Um, and I'm, I'm not too sure how reliable it would be if we had a, a fault along the line, whether or not it would detect it. It's pretty basic. Um, usually when you buy some sort of flute tester or proper professional level piece of equipment, it's going to uh, cost, you know, a lot more hundreds, hundreds and, you know, if not even a thousand or more, it might get into four digits. Um, so, you know, this is less than 20 pounds. I don't expect it to do a lot. I think it's a glorified wire map tester, to be honest. Just takes four AA batteries, as you can see there. Um, and that's about it. I don't know how long it's going to last me, but at the moment it's pretty handy. You can do a calibration. There is a setup option and you can go down and do a calibration. And then there's coax telephone. Now that actually says in the manual that you need some extra dongles, some extra sort of pieces um, to accompany this device. So you can plug in that RJ11 cable and, and do a test for a phone line or a coax. If you want a coax, you need that sort of at the moment we've only got two RJ45 connections there so that's not really going to do a, a great deal um, but yeah it's basic I'll put some links in the description for where this is on eBay and I would recommend it if you were just doing wire map testing and you just wanted something quick and easy it's quite bulky but it does what it what it's meant to do um, and there are some <laughs> really cheap testers out there that are somewhat smaller than this, about half the size, and you can get them for £10 if not less. However, um, I've had a couple of them and they don't last very long, they are super cheap. A bit like this, however this feels a little bit more rigid, a little bit more sturdy than than those, they are really cheap. Um, good for like a one visit and that's it pretty much, but uh, yeah this is this might last a little bit longer. Obviously if you're going to be doing a lot of cable testing you probably want something a bit more steadier than this and something a bit more reliable but it does what it does okay um and i'll see you next time